A New York City carriage horse driver is facing criminal charges today for torturing his horse that later died. The 26 year old horse named Ryder collapsed on the streets in Hell's Kitchen during the summer of 2022. The incident was caught on camera and prompted protests and calls to ban carriage rides in New York City. Prosecutors say the conditions Ryder endured by his handler, Ian McKeever, directly contributed to the horse's death. Now, what is news reporter Michelle Charlesworth is live in Lower Manhattan with the story. Michelle. Well, it's a big deal that this has now gone to court. This is a class A misdemeanor charge, and chances are people out there definitely remember the video that was taken of this horse named Ryder in August 2022 that went viral. The man standing over Ryder is Ian McKeever. The horse had collapsed at the end of a day of work. And when this went down, a crowd formed in New York City at West 45th Street and 9th Avenue. It was August 10th, 2022. Everyone filming with cell phones and some people yelling for the horse handler to stop. Why are you slapping him? That horse died after that. And we learned on paperwork, Ryder the horse was listed as 13 years old, but it was actually 26 years old. Retirement age for a horse. Today, the horse handler, Mr. Ian McKeever, was in court to be arraigned on a Class A misdemeanor. He is the man in red. As he left court, an animal rights activist profiting from their criminal animal abuse of Ryder and many other horses tore into him about allegedly abusing Ryder, misrepresenting his age, and causing his death. I've never harmed a horse in my life. It's taken them a whole year to decide to prosecute this case? Are you out of your mind? People have known about this. This case is politicized. There are so many other horses slowly being worked to death right now. We are documenting elderly injured horses similar to riders still being forced to work in such bad shape every day. That was the animal rights activist uh, who was on the sidewalk um, yelling at uh, the defendant here. This case goes back to court on December 18th. Uh, animal rights activists say this should have been a felony charge and that carriage horses should not be working on the streets of New York as things are now.